led the rector major to choose the family as the theme for the 2006 Strenner, ensuring that special attention be given to the family, the cradle of life and love, and where one first learns how to become human. This theme coincides with two important anniversaries, 25 years of Familiaris Consorzio and 150 years of the death of Mama Margaret, Don Bosco's mother, and his first helper at Valdocco. Mama Margaret, therefore, is presented as a special icon for this year. She carried out a decisive role not only in bringing up her son, but also in creating the atmosphere of the first oratory. She was a strong woman. Throughout her whole life, she never gave in to human weakness. She showed an extraordinary ability in settling the not easy tensions in family life. We can see how she was always vigilant and seemed to be guided by a higher purpose that of discovering what, before God, would be the best for her sons. Mama educator, she embodies and proclaims the values of courage, hard work, duty, moral strength, honesty, thrift and respect for the elderly. This skill as a teacher enabled Margaret to identify and bring out the hidden talents in her sons, especially with John. Extraordinary was her sense of a mother's responsibility, with which she closely followed her son in all the stages of his life. Mama Margherita Mama Margaret had the rare gift of being able to draw a lesson from everything that happened in life. She considered herself primarily responsible for teaching her sons the faith and knew how to put before them in the home simple and strong values. The first thing she handed on to her sons was her sterling faith, the sense of loving God always present and a tender devotion to Mary. The presence of Mama Margaret of Aldoco had an impact on what everyone considers the heart of the Silesian charism, the family spirit. Moved by practical necessity, Don Bosco had invited her to come and this presence became a providential collaboration in a charism that was still in its early stages. There are certain features, aspects, characteristics of the preventive system practiced by Don Bosco that have a reassuring maternal element which allow us to see in Margaret not only a feminine presence that made its influence felt from a distance, but something inspirational from within as a model, as a collaborator and indeed as the first cooperator. In addition to Mama Margaret, other mothers lived at Valdoco, giving it a family atmosphere that came from their own personal experience and nature. However, Margaret remains the main companion and cooperator of Don Bosco, sharing with him bread and work, fatigue, worries and joys, as well as the mission. In those days at the oratory, Family life was rather haphazard, with few resources but plenty of dreams. Don Bosco often had to leave the house and go in search of funds to keep going, even in a simple way, a hostel with an ever-increasing number of boys. Mama Margaret took his place in assisting the boys, as well as seeing to the usual domestic work in the kitchen during the day and in repairing their clothes in the evenings. And these are only small facts. Little details, certainly, but they had their part to play in many aspects of the life of Don Bosco and his boys, and they help us to get a concrete idea of the family life at the oratory.